Violent weekend across Atlanta. Four people hurt when shots are fired near the Trap Museum, one of the city's most popular spots. Dash cam video capturing the moment people started running. That shooting follows several other shootings across the city, including three innocent people who were shot outside of a Home Depot last night. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston is live for us. And Yasmina, you spoke to an Uber driver, and that driver was able to capture that shooting as it happened. Tracy, that's right. That Uber driver tells me he had actually just turned down Travis Street near the museum when he heard those shots and saw people running. But he tells me that the shots were actually coming from way down here. And you can see just how busy of a street this is, no matter what time of day. Atlanta police did confirm that four people were shot. According to investigators, those people were leaving the museum and going back to their cars when someone in a black Dodge Charger with red stripes started shooting. I did speak with a museum representative who wants to note that the shooting did not not actually happen at the museum, but further down. The Uber driver we spoke with says his concern was for all the people who were around. I just didn't want to hurt anyone else, you know, because there were so many people running and diving behind cars and stuff, you know, so I tried to take it as slow as I could. And I didn't, as you can see from the video, I didn't see a shooter. I could hear that it was a little farther away, so I wasn't necessarily concerned too much about getting shot. I was more concerned about the people in front of me, you know, that were running away from it, that they might get shot. And we do also have some new details about the shooting near the Lindbergh Plaza Home Depot yesterday evening. Those three innocent bystanders that were shot after a dispute at a nearby apartment complex have been identified. The 71 year old Richard Sweeley, 55 year old Vulcan Topoli, and 22 year old Andre Bordages. Again, Atlanta police are investigating both of those shootings. In the shooting that happened near the Home Depot, they are looking for a dark colored car. We will, of course, update you with any new information that we get. Reporting live in Atlanta tonight, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thank you.